is Sunday. Today is Sunday, December 10th, and I am like a couple vlogs ahead because I have gotten enough content already for Vlogmas Day 5, which is going up today. Plenty of content for Vlogmas Day 6, which is going up on the 12th. And then this is going to be Vlogmas Day 7, which is going up on the 14th. So yes, today is Sunday. I have like a nice relaxing day planned. So I'm excited that I get to have just a relaxing day. But of course, I still do have some stuff to get done. So yeah, we're going to start off the day with some editing. I did wake up early. Like it's only 940 right now. I'm never usually up this early on days off. But I went to sleep pretty early last night and I guess my body just got enough sleep because I woke up and typically once I'm awake, if I'm energized enough, I don't go back to sleep. Like once I'm awake, I can't. I have such a hard time going back to sleep. But I figured if I'm up, I'm up. There's no reason in going back to sleep. Let me just get a little bit of a head start to my day. I was going to wake up at like 10 o'clock anyway, so it's not that early. I think I woke up at like 9.20. 10.20, I finished editing and now I'm exporting this vlogmas. But yeah, I was planning to leave by 10.45, so I need to get on an outfit, get ready, and also eat something. Okay, I'm having some oatmeal and I have some danishes in the air fryer. I finished breakfast and now I'm on my way to the gym. Um, I should get there around 11.20 and then I'll have from 11.20 to 12.45 to do my workout. It's a little bit over an hour, which is good. That's a good amount of time. I don't know, I'm like debating, do I do legs today? Because my I did legs on Friday and today's Sunday. My legs don't hurt though, so I'm like, do I do legs today or do I do something else? I don't know. I haven't decided yet, but I'm going to start out with my 40 minutes of cardio or like 40 to 45 minutes of cardio and then move on to working those muscles. Um, yeah, because I have to be back at one o'clock because I have a nail appointment. The nail lady is actually coming to my house, which is really nice. Like that's like such a nice service to like have the nail tech come to you instead of you having to go to the nail tech. So I'm pretty excited about that. A little bit of pampering because it's finals week, it's December, it's an emotional time, it's a stressful time. So honestly, I am just pampering myself extra this month. I deserve it. But yeah, I got a vlog edited and uploaded this morning, so we're off to a good productive start to the day. Hopefully the gym isn't too crowded because I usually don't go on Sunday mornings, so we'll see how how it is. It probably is. I feel like it probably is crowded, but it's okay. I'm just gonna do my thing. Alrighty, I just got to the gym. Before I go in, because I forgot to take them earlier this morning, I'm gonna take my slimming gummies, which by the way, if you are interested in this product, DM me on Instagram. I can hook you up with my discount codes, my special prices. So hit me up if you're interested. I swear by these things. They help with bloating. It's a great way to get your daily apple cider vinegar intake. The ingredients are clean. Like for the most part, I think the worst thing in it is natural flavors because we all know that natural flavors are not actually natural. Um, but I swear by these things and they taste like oranges. They are blood orange flavor. So yeah, if you're interested in those or any other products from It Works, hit me up. If you're interested in joining my team and working from home, hit me up. I love how like 10 days ago at the beginning of Vlogmas, I was like, I'm so excited for Christmas and now I'm just like kind of like not feeling it because last week was just a hard week it's so hard to be like in the Christmas spirit with like final exams going on like how am I supposed to be all like happy and Christmassy when I'm like studying for five different exams and doing several different final projects you know it's just it's such a hard time of year as a college student and just in general oh no it's pouring again should have went into the gym while it wasn't raining. But yeah, but I'm hoping that I get more into the Christmas spirit 
as we get closer because I want to feel Christmassy and I want to do Christmas things but it's just like I don't know I guess also like my friends are not that into Christmas either so it's like it's just hard but yeah I was gonna say that and I was also gonna say that I'm really proud of myself for getting my ass up and getting myself to the gym on a disgusting rainy day like this because old Megan could never but I basically found a TikTok that I found to be really motivating and inspiring and I decided hey I'm gonna give the rest of this year all I've got and hopefully it follows into next year and I've been working my butt off in every aspect of my life in health fitness going to the gym eating well saving money practicing budgeting like I've been doing well in everything I've been working hard extra hard at school to make sure I don't slack right before final exams so yeah I'm really proud of myself let's go do our workout okay so my nail tech should be here oh my god it is so hot in here oh my goodness she should be here momentarily and actually I think she just pulled up but um I went to a quick little Marshalls haul so I got these lovely Barbie martini glasses that I saw on TikTok and had to have them. One's dark pink and they both say Barbie in gold. And this is like a good purchase because I don't actually have martini glasses yet. And then one is light pink and says Barbie. <laughs> like just look at how perfect these are. They're definitely gonna go on my February Valentine's bar cart so I'm looking forward to that and then I just got jojoba oil because it has really good skin and skin and hair and nails benefits so I've heard and this is a good brand and then I just got a new Laneige face wash so Laneige 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 I don't know how to pronounce it a new face wash so that's my little Marshall's Hall, my nail tech is here, so I'm going to get her. Alright, my nail tech just left. Let me show you. So cute. Are you kidding? Oh my god. So cute and Christmassy. I am in love. So it turns out my nail tech is actually also a small YouTuber, so I'm gonna link her in the description down below make sure to go subscribe she was an awesome nail tech and a super sweet person so yeah nails are done they look super cute i'm just so glad that i have my nails done it's been so long now i'm making lunch i'm having these breaded pizza crunchers by farm rich this box was like nine bucks which is ridiculous there's only like 12 of them less than 12 in here but they used to serve these at school lunch and that's what it reminded me of. So I saw them in the grocery store and I was like, I need to get these. I have finished lunch and now I'm debating, like I really want to put up my Christmas tree, but I'm also like feeling really lazy and tired and kind of don't. What do I do guys? What do I do? <laughs> this is a little weird. I'm forcing myself to put up my Christmas tree. It is time guys. It is time. I'm gonna I'm gonna put on some Christmas music and we're gonna do it. That was so much simpler than I remember because I before I bought this, I had one where you had to individually snap all of the branches in. For this one, on the other hand, you put the stand, you click in the bottom one, which is the first like two light levels of branches, you click in another one and it kind of just like unfolds and comes out and then that's how you put in the top one and you gotta kind of feather it out. But that was much easier than the one that I had growing up where we had to clip in all of the branches individually. This was much easier. Alright, I got my Christmas tree up and wrapped, wrapped. I got my Christmas tree up and decorated. I even wrapped a couple presents so I could throw some presents under there. 
Um, so yeah, now I am editing my podcast episode, and then I'm gonna jump in the shower and then make dinner. So yeah, I'm having like a little self-care Sunday, my nails and everything. I think I might do a face mask after I shower. And then I got myself some little lint chocolates because I was craving these. And I got myself a little pack of them because I was craving them. They're so good. I forgot to vlog again. But anyways, so my room got pretty messy again in the past couple days. So I'm currently just straightening up my room. I figured I would straighten up before I go to bed. So that way we're starting the week off right because tomorrow's Monday. Um... But yeah, I've started going to bed earlier because I think that, like, staying up late was starting to really affect me. So, thankfully, I kind of got my sleep schedule back on track because Thanksgiving break really messed up my sleep schedule. Like, I was not sleeping. I was basically staying up until, like, 2 and 3 in the morning, and it was definitely starting to take a toll on me. But my room has gotten pretty messy, unfortunately. I hate to say it. I think I cleaned it in Vlogmas a couple days ago, and since then, since then it's gotten messy again, like, I took out all of my jewelry stuff to do work the other day, and I just didn't put it back in my closet after that, like, my vanity is messy again, I don't even know why, so I'm trying to just, just straighten up before the new week begins. So it doesn't look gross all week. Okay, so I keep forgetting to do the advent calendar and I have a ton of content for Vlogmas Day 6. Like literally like 28, 30 minutes worth of content. So I don't think I'm gonna put the advent calendar in day six. Wow, okay, I also need to really organize my vanity. But yeah, so let's catch up on the advent calendar that I have been forgetting to do. Also, I hung up all of my clothes. Yay, I put away my clean laundry, and then now I'm realizing, damn, I have a lot of clothes. I mean, I always knew that, but like, god. Anyways, and that's not even all of it. Alright, so let's catch up. Today is Vlogmas Day 7, I think, yeah. So let's catch up. We only did 1, 2, and 3, so we gotta do 4, 5, 6, and 7. So let's let's do it. So far, got some really good products. I've been forgetting to do this every day though. I suck at vlogging, I suck at remembering things. Okay, so we got this um, Q Bella Pore Minimizing T-Zone and Full Facial Mud Mask. Okay, I've used uh, the Q Bella mask before, I like them. So I'm sure that I'll like this. That's a good one. Day five. Oh my god, I hate when, my when I leave my closet doors open. Okay. Day 5 is empty. Why is day 5 empty? Are you kidding? Oh my god, I wonder if it like slipped down into like another day. Because there is... Wait a minute, I'm trying not to like destroy the other days. No, I don't know. I honestly think that they might have literally just forgotten to fill up day five. That's sad. I also am, like, destroying this. These are kind of hard to open. Day six. This is, like, the hardest advent calendar I've ever had to open. Okay. Oh, what is this? Okay, so this is the Pacifica Vegan Collagen Overnight Recovery Cream. Okay, I love the container. It's like aesthetically pleasing. It's baby pink. Super cute. And I could use, I always like forget about using collagen. So I needed this. I don't think I have any. All right, and the last one for today, day seven. I can't believe that day five was empty. Ooh, okay, we got Dr. Teal's Foaming Bath Soothe and Sleep Lavender Essential Oils. I actually use this. This is the body. I use Dr. Teal's body wash and also I use the salt scrub um, for exfoliating. I love Dr. Teal's products, so that's a good one because I will definitely use that. 
I'm debating. Do we just open the rest of it right now? Because I keep forgetting to do it in Vlogmas. Like, I feel like now it's just pointless. Yeah, you know what? Let's just open the rest. Why not? I keep forgetting to do it in Vlogmas, and I don't want to keep this thing taking up space. No self-control, gang. Day eight. We got a full size... Okay, I see you, Target. We got a full-size shea butter hand cream. Okay, I'm gonna put this in my purse. Let's smell it. Ooh, it's the uh, pomegranate one. Okay, period. Day number nine. I love how my cat is sitting on my chair like this. She always has to be near me. She loves attention. Day nine. This is not working out very well. I'm just like trying my best here. Coconut and warm vanilla bath bomb. Okay, it's like golden white, cute. Ooh, that smells really good. And another full size product. I'm impressed because like usually you get like the not full size products of anything in these beauty advent calendars. Okay, well, there's two things down here. And then there's also something else for day 10. So, well, no, because day five was a bottle. I'm trying to see if it, like, slipped down. But um, I'm assuming these came from day 12 and slipped down. So, let's find out. Day 10. Ooh, Mega Babe. Okay, Mega Babe. Mega Babe, the Smoothie Dio Fruit Enzyme Daily Deodorant. So, I actually have used Mega Babe products before so i like mega babe products and who can you know can always use deodorant i'm gonna put this in my gym bag nice day 11 it fell right out and day 12 while we're at it i don't even think there's anything in day 12 yeah no so i was right don't want to leave this in here i left it in here from day one we annihilated this thing we tore this thing up but I'm glad it's done because that can go in the garbage now. So day 11 is this olive oil deep conditioning pack by Palmer's. I love conditioning treatments like this. They always feel, they always make my hair feel so nice. And then day 12 was the good patch. Relax, quantity one patch, time to unwind and decompress. Place on your inside of wrist or any venous area that is clean and dry, maybe worn up to 12 hours. Huh, okay, so it's like um, it's like an like an anti anxiety patch kind of thing. I've heard about these, but I've never tried them. So very excited to try this. It's finals week, so I can definitely use that. And then a pack of Welly face savers. I guess they're um. Oh wow, what a what a small pack. I thought there was gonna be more, but four of the Welly um acne patches i will still use those though love a good acne patch it's literally my saving grace I'm gonna put all my goodies away on my vanity make sure i don't forget about them and now i'm going to do my hair and get ready for bed and finish and finish straightening up my room so let's do it Okay, I'm gonna test out two of the new products that I got from the advent calendar. So this is the CeraVe healing ointment. So I have a couple of little pimples going on here. So I'm gonna put this on them. Okay. It's not scented, which is good. I don't like a ton of scented products going on my face. I have very sensitive skin. So if you're really that has sensitive skin, you can trust my product reviews. Oh, not scented, thank goodness. Um, very, let's see, let's see how this feels on my skin. Wait, I think it has a very light scent. It's very thick. 
know how to feel about this. It's very kind of like thick and like goopy kind of like I don't know how this, how to feel about like how it feels on my skin. I don't know, honestly. It's hard to review things like skincare products. I'm not a beauty guru, like I don't know. This is what I typically use to moisturize at night. The glow recipe plum and plump the glow recipe plum plum hyaluronic cream because it's just first of all it smells so good second of all it doesn't irritate my skin and third of all it just feels so nice and light and like hydrating so this is what i typically use to moisturize before bed this is my like third container of it i already went through I love my curls, but I typically, like, I'll leave my hair curly in the summer because it's like a vibe, like beach hair, don't care, you know, but, but sometimes I just, I don't know, I think my hair looks better straight, I, it's easier to style when it's straight, so I do blow out my hair a lot of the time, I don't really straighten it anymore, I just use my Revlon brush, which is amazing. It's like my holy grail. Like for years, I could not figure out how to straighten my hair and have it like not look frizzy and disgusting. Like I wanted it to look like I just got a blowout at a salon. And I actually had a hairstylist recommend me the Revlon brush. And this is my second one because my first one broke. And as soon as it broke, I had to buy another one because it's literally my holy grail of hair. And then along with it, I use the L'Oreal Sleek It um, Iron Straight Heat Spray. Um, three day sleek plus 450 protection for all heat tools. It's important if you're just blowing out your hair and you think I don't need a heat protectant. Yes, you do. And this is the one I use. And it's like four or five bucks a bottle. As soon as I start running low, I just order on, on as soon as I start running low, I just order another bottle on Amazon. It's my favorite hair product. And it doesn't make my hair like greasy and gross like a lot of the other sleek it and like shine products it doesn't make my hair gross it makes my hair like as you can see my hair doesn't look greasy or anything like it just looks nice and natural and then fun fact about me i cannot sleep with my hair down it bothers me so i always put my hair up in a ponytail before bed and sleep with my hair in a ponytail just like a loose pony i cannot sleep with my hair down i look like an egg with my hair back but Anyways, so, like I said, I'm mostly ready for bed. I did all my, like, I did my night routine, brushed my teeth. I just kind of got to finish cleaning my room and chill out. And hopefully it doesn't take me too long to fall asleep.